This next song is about where I grew up. And uh, wasn't a whole lot going on there when I grew up there, but uh, I did my damnedest to make some shit up about it anyway. <laughs> for Tim Easton one time, he was like, that's all right. All right, Tim. Yeah, we all know who Tim is. Oh, yeah. He's a friend of mine from Ohio. Good Ohio fellow. some big old boat of a car in the harvest parade in a dress that your mama had made with a crown and a sash on cause they just named you the queen of some kind of vegetable and that's kind of what my hometown was like you know there wasn't a whole lot going on but that didn't stop you sometime you might still call a guy up and say some shit to him like hey man you want to do something? And seeing as there wasn't a whole lot going on, that guy usually said some shit back like, yeah, I'd like to do something, man. Let's get something done. <laughs> you could kind of divide the groups of guys that did stuff in my hometown up into two groups. And the first group of guys was like the pothead guys, man. And they uh, usually hung out either in the field or in the garage. See, the field was a great place to do that because no one was going to run in on you doing it or chase you away or anything like that, call the police on you or nothing like that. There was a chance you might come out high and covered in ticks, but friends, that's what I like to call a character builder. The ideal place to smoke your grass, of course, was the garage, because you could get a vibe going on in there, maybe put up like a cool poster of a chick on top of a Ferrari, light some incense, get the Almond Brothers going on. It was really cool, man, you know? But if you're like me, when you smoke grass, sometimes your mind tends to wander away. And my mind wandered away this one time when I was smoking pot in the garage with my friends to a time when I was in the garage as a much younger man. I had to make that pine wood derby car for Boy Scouts. And mine was shitty, and I didn't win anything. And I started feeling really bad about myself. And the next thing I knew, this guy what stands next to me handed me a lunch bag full of spray paint. And I thought, fuck it. <laughs> 
the second group of guys, man, was the drinkers, and the drinkers all hung out down in the basement. Of course, the thing about drinking in high school is if you're gonna drink when you're in high school, you gotta add a guy to your thing that's old enough to get you the beer in the first place. We added this guy to our thing named Baseball Fred. We called him Baseball Fred because he wore this baseball hat, although we did find out later on that he had also played baseball, which was very convenient for us. Baseball Fred would come over at the evening time with something cool, like some Labatt Blue or some Amber Bach or something like that, and we just go through all of them, man. And then the next day, you gotta get rid of all these empties without your parents knowing, you know? So I'd do something on the sly, like put them all in my laundry bag, and on the way out the door, I'd say something, like, real casual, like, I'm gonna go do my laundry now. <laughs> drive over to this dumpster that was behind the CBS. The CBS blocked it from the highway so they couldn't see what you were throwing away back there and that you were throwing up back there. And after I did one or two or both of those things, I would make my merry way home. But friends, I want to tell you this tonight because I want to say to you, whatever you're out there doing, whether you're drinking in the basement or smoking pot in the garage or just high-fiving different people that you dig, may you do it well, may you do it in good company, and when all is said and done, may you make a kick-ass song up about it that you can sing to some people in a bar in Cleveland, Ohio. So please forgive me, Ohio, my dear. I've traveled your roads and your hills. I'm your lover, VFW, and you broke down factories and mills. I'm your freight train. back there. A lot of these songs that I'm playing for you guys tonight were uh, on this record that I made called Crooked River Burning, which was produced by Cleveland's very own Anton Fear. Uh, yeah. Golden Palominos. <laughs>